All right, good morning again, everybody. Trading from beautiful Miami Beach today. Crude oil report. The session is about to start. We'll see the reaction in about 15 seconds or so. And then I will wait our customary two minutes before looking to take a trade. The counterpunch trader chart here on the right is what I'll be trading. It's a 377 tick. I'm showing a spotlight chart on the left as well. And that is a five tick momentum range bar. And there's the reaction. Now we are going to wait our two minutes. Did it make a new high of the day? Yes, it did. All right, so expanded range. I'm going to go ahead and mark the reaction just so we could see where it is. It's already exceeded that. Now let's see if we're going to get follow through. All right, so we're going to wait two minutes. Got another minute, 10 seconds to go. That's the trade we'll be keeping track of so far short at 5957 and notice that the price has come back down into the range of the initial reaction we'll see if it could find some footing and head higher or if it will come down and test the lows of that range we've got another 30 seconds to go it looks to me like that white trade will end up canceling and it did oh no not yet but it will on this next bar okay so the white trade is canceled we're not gonna worry about that we have to wait for a new setup and we'll start trading in about 10 seconds. All right, so currently flat. There are no setups yet, and we are now looking for our first trade of the day, or first trade of the session, I should say, and we may get a short here in a moment. And it did test and make new highs and failed again and came back down into its range. So it's just kind of vacillating around the upper end of the range from the initial reaction of the release and there's the first trade and it's a short at 62 all right so the stop is at 5973 and the targets are at 5953 which is a very small one and 5950 so it's a pretty small trade it's only nine cents actually there's a new setup now well that it already triggered into the old one. So we're going to stick with that. Order filled. All right, look at that. So we already hit our money management level and getting ready to hit the second target as well, hopefully. But this trade plan has achieved its goals. It's hit the second target. So hopefully we can make a little more. I've already locked in one tick to protect the position. So if it does stop out, we'll be finished. Uh, hopefully it heads lower and I can make a little more on this trade. It's a small setup, but I like to take what the market wants to give. I'm happy with this for now. Not bad while trading from the balcony overlooking beautiful Española Way in Miami Beach. Let's see, I'm going to come down a little bit here. that again hmm doesn't want to move going to 61 oh, I'm at 61 oops just lost my handle order filled all right well I hit my target anyway so <laughs> some problems with uh, my chart trading with my laptop but hitting both targets and anyone who's still trailing is still alive in this trade. You can see the trailer right here at 56 and now 53. I took my profit at 45. Whoops, I took my profit at 50. That's what I meant to say. But the option to trail exists and if this keeps going down, 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 who's ever trailing this? certainly going to be happy let's see if the 50 cent level holds nope it stopped out right there at 51 anyway so I actually did one tick better by taking my profit at target three than by trailing and that's it that's a wrap that's all she wrote let's take a quick look at uh, spotlight power trader so spotlight had a setup here which was waiting two minutes and it got short and it came down and it made a little bit more money because it's a bigger trade um, actually, no, it missed its full target by one tick. So Spotlight's a real accurate 
targeting system, as you probably know, and so is counterpunch in a different type of uh, different way, but just missing by one tick. And so anybody trading this would have needed to take a partial profit here at target one and uh, that they'd be finished as well because if you miss your full objective by one tick we give the benefit of the doubt to the strategy so both strategies finishing rather quickly efficiently and that's a wrap another session one and done this is TJ the backpack trader trading from beautiful Miami Beach I'll see you next time